All right, folks, listen, you know, that it's, it's football season. This is the time that I really like because I like making a bunch of finger foods, you know, and appetizers, right? So as you can see, I got a few helmets on display. I know y'all going to ask me, for those of you guys that don't know already, but let me just go ahead and take the, the guesswork out. This is who I roll with, the Miami Dolphins. And guess what? We making a dry rub air fryer wings. Let's get it. Now, listen, I tried to simplify this as much as possible for the sake of making this video, right? Listen, I got some ingredients right here, and here they go. I'm gonna set this over here on the side so you guys can get up close and personal with that, right? As you see, it is a few ingredients, right? Already measured out, and don't forget the full ingredient list is on my website. That's smokingandgrillingwithab.com, and that's W-I-T-A-B.com, right? And then, of course, I wanna say that's a star too, because listen, if you ain't got no flavor, you know, in your dreads and all of that, then you don't have nothing. Here we go, folks, look at that right there. Them are party wings. Now, obviously, look, this is my uh, air fryer, right? I'm gonna be using the Phillips air fryer. I already preheated this just to get it hot because I gotta go through quite a few wings, right? So, oh, and listen, don't forget to like and subscribe and talk to me down in the comment section below and tell me what you guys would like. Now, got this paper bag. We finna do it old school, folks. You remember how your grandma and your mama used to do it? I wanna say right now by using, you know, just going in this bag right here, it seems super thin. I don't have none of them big bags like my grandma my had. I mean, really being honest with you, it's hard to get a, a paper bag nowadays. I had to like buy paper bags and I wish I'd have looked at the side. But this right here is cool. So listen, for the sake of keeping it simple, right? Let's get down. Listen, I got everything measured out and put in here like that so you guys have just saw, right? I'm gonna go ahead and just put this in the bag. You know what I mean? So now I'm gonna add my flour to it also. Get that in there. If you guys wanna look in here and see what it look like, that's it right there. You know what I mean? Ain't nothing to it. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close this and I'm gonna do it old school. We finna shake and bake. No whisk, no none of that. This right here gets it, you know, completely integrated. Now, I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to capture the color of the flower, but you know flower is ble bleach white. If you look at that right there, that shit tells me that it's seasoned right. Now, one of the things that I tell everybody, which sounds crazy to those who have never heard this before, you have to go ahead and taste your flour. I'm gonna take this glove off, taste this flour. If I can taste my seasoning, I have accomplished the greatest thing. Cause you know what? If that, my flour tastes seasoned, when I give them out to everybody, they are gonna love them too. Now earlier I showed you guys these football helmets. I got all of the teams, right? But I want you, I want you guys to talk to me and tell me down in the comment section below. Who's your favorite team? And then what you putting out? I wanna know week by week. All right, so this right here, I've already patted them dry, but when you leave them out, you can, they don't always look as dry as they can be. So I like to just put this over the top. When I put them in here, I had paper towels underneath the bottom too. I'll take these out just like that. And there you have it, folks. Now, keep, we paying, look, we paying homage to our grandparents. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna go ahead and take some of these flats. Maybe I shouldn't drop them in like that because it kicks back that seasoned flour and boy, does that make me sneeze. One thing about doing this, you could use a uh, plastic bag too, but one of the things you can do is you can load this up and shake it and hurry up and get them done. You know what I mean? Instead of the way I do them when I dredge them, do all of that kind of stuff. So listen, now we'll close this down like this, right? And what we do, say it with me, we shake and bake. We open it up, and now we take a look at it, and look at that, completely coated, yes sir. All right, so look, I'm gonna go ahead and set this off to the side, and you know, get ready, because I'm gonna pull my basket out. Right now I got with my hand my meat thermometer, right? This right here is how I know all my proteins are done right. Now we doing, you know, chicken. Chicken is uh, ready at 165. This is on the dark meat side, you know what I mean? So if it get to 170, that's okay, 172. All the way up to 175, it'll still be juicy, right? I'm gonna go ahead and just set this out here so you guys can see. You see that signature right there? Smoking and grilling with me, A.B. Now we talk about like the tools, right? I'm doing a lot of talking right now because this video is very, very fast, right? We doing the air fryer, we don't have no cleanup from the oil, none of that. 
Listen, I got a cooling rack on top of a pen. I got a set of tongs and another tool you're gonna need is a non-stick spray, right? So let me shake this up right now. I always like to spray my basket, you know what I mean? Just to keep everything from not, you know, sticking whatever I'm cooking so that it doesn't stick. Even though this is made with a non-stick material so that it doesn't, this right here gives me some uh, a, a peace of mind, All right? So now I'm gonna go in here, grab one of these, shake it, you guys see it? And I'm gonna put the top side down. Keep some space in between them, right? The reason I do that, because we want heat and the way it's designed, it goes in here like an, a convection oven. See the holes right there? Heat come out of there. We're gonna get that nice golden brown color. Now, what you guys been waiting on, you wanna know, well, AB, how long do I do them for? Right, I'm gonna tell you right now, so I know some of y'all probably gonna skip. But listen, it's 400 degrees for 15 minutes. Now I want you guys to come in here and take a look at this. And then another tool of choice is your non-stick spray, which I'm gonna use Pam. Listen, they do make a formula, a spray that's, uh, you know, it's extra virgin olive oil. You guys can buy that one too. But if you have this, this just works just fine. And because these are small pieces, it's not gonna render a whole lot of fat the first go round. Now I already told you guys it's gonna go 15 minutes, right? So at a halfway through it, I like to go eight minutes. You know what I mean? Instead of trying to split the hair, saying seven and a half minutes at eight minutes, then I flip them over. It's going to render some fat. It'll be on the bottom side that we might not have to spray them, right? But so we just take them, you just dust them, you know, lightly. That's it right there. Might've sound like a lot, but that was just a little bit. Now we put this in here, right? Power it up. Now, if you made one of these in the last, if you've gotten one of these air fryers, any type of air fryer in the last five years, they probably got its symbols on here like it is, right? So you can see right there, that's a chicken drumstick or just representing the drumstick period, right? You see pie, fries, whether it's frozen, all that. But look, I'm going to move this over and you see how it's blinking? I want to come over here to that drumstick, right? But I know I want to do, listen to this. I want to reduce my time to 15 minutes. And then over here, I want to raise my temperature up to 400 degrees. Now, all I want to do is hit start. Okay, the eight just disappeared. We probably somewhere getting close to like seven and a half, but let's go ahead and take a look at it for the first time, right? I'm gonna pull this out right here. And look, that's what we working with right there. You guys can start to see the color. Now, this is what I wanna show you. I'm gonna turn this over. You see the color there? And you see how we didn't spray nothing on the back, on the bottom side? The reason this looks the way it does is that's the heat traveling the, for, per the design, right? And when it's down that way, gravity takes over and it pushes a lot of the, you know, fat, the natural fat that's inside of the wing down to the bottom. So you can see that you really don't have to do that. So now I'm gonna just turn these over like this. And then when I turn them, I can hear them that they are getting crispy, right? Now I got a few spots that got white. This is up to you. I know, but if you feel like it's not gonna do that, I'm gonna take my spray and I'm just gonna hit it like, huh? Uh, 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 that's it. Folks, not gonna do nothing else. Now I'm getting ready to close this back. I'm listening. It just fired back up. Go figure. All right, so look, these is ready. And if you take them and you, you know, you just stage them on this cooling rack, you guys should have one of those, you know what I mean? And uh, we just put them there. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of these, but it's the same procedure that you just seen. I'm sticking this in here, say 175. Come on, y'all. And you know, this keep going. It's starting to cool just a little bit. 174.6, 73. I've already checked the other ones. These are just right, folks. Still gonna be nice and juicy. Now, let me tell you this part. I'm putting them in there only so many at a time for the sake of myself doing it. And this rate, you know, this uh, video. You guys are going, you can stick them in here, load them up, make sure they can breathe, even though they're going to be stacked on top of one another. I would just say halfway through it, I would probably rotate them all, you know, so that they can all be done, right? So I'm going to go ahead and finish this last little batch. And then we're going to make them, we're going to plate them and eat them. We just start adding these any kind of way. When it comes to plating these, I guess the best thing to do is just put them on here any old kind of way. Shake them up, just drop them on there. Cause when I try to set them up, they seem like, seems like to me that they don't just quite come out as good as everybody else's when they come to their plate, you know? So I'm gonna just stick them on 
any kind of way not even really give it no type of you know styling all i can tell you is i'm about to eat one of these all right folks as you can see this is starting to dwindle down right i gotta make a few more now listen this can be done in the oven i put everything on my website right i'm gonna give you two versions you can do them in the air fryer or the oven now i just want to say it's somebody behind the camera that has never ever so they think they've never had nothing done from an air fry and he keep taking these you know what i'm saying so let me hurry up wrap this up and just tell you this listen the flavoring on this because we seasoned this and we tested it before we even put it in the air fryer so we knew that worked right now i only use so much salt you know what i'm watching my sodium you know what i mean i want you guys to watch yours too you know what i mean uh, we use that sea salt so that right there gave you a little bit of a a little pop on the salty the saltiness and not even that really salt is supposed to enhance the flavors that you guys are already putting in there right that's the true uh nature of the salt just a little salt bumps up the flavor from whatever you're using right so try not to use too much use what i give you you want to add more do it on your next batch now with that being said Listen, talk to me down in the comment section below and let me know what you like about this video, what you didn't like about this video. But most of all, I want to hear how you would level this one up. So check it out. Listen, if you're new to my channel, I want you guys to take this time to like, subscribe, and tell everybody out there, listen, there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking a mystery out of cooking. And I know you guys thought I was going to get out of here without tasting one of these. I'm going to hurry up and get one because these not going to last long. Guess what, folks? I'm out. Peace. Mm-hmm. Thank you.